Hello and welcome to math. Today we are going to be focusing on adding and subtracting fractions, specifically fractions with unlike denominators. So fractions with unlike denominators means that um, we could have something like two-thirds and four-eighths. And we know that thirds and eighths are not the same size. And we cannot actually add and subtract when they're like that. So we're going to be looking at what we can do to make those calculations. So I just drew this box here for a little later to write some important information, things to remember inside. But first, let's take a look at an example. So here we have 2 thirds plus 1 sixth. So we want to first model 2 thirds. So here's my 2 thirds. And here I have one sixth. Well, as I look at these, I notice that my thirds are much bigger than my sixths, and I cannot add them the way they are right now. But I also know that I have that sixths are related fractions to thirds. And if I partition each third into two smaller pieces, now I do have sixths. And four sixths is equivalent to two-thirds. So I can add four-sixths to one-sixth, and that is how I can calculate. But before I do that, I want to estimate. Remember, estimation helps to check to make sure our answer is reasonable. So if I look at four-sixths, I notice, well, that's about a half. And one-sixth, it's more than zero, but it's closest to zero. So my estimation, I would think, hmm, one-half and zero, so it's probably going to be somewhere around one half. But if I think about what's reasonable and something important to remember is that my answer must be less than a whole. Because if I have something around a half and something really close to zero, I can't get more than a whole. So now that I have my estimate, I can look at my actual calculations. Four six plus one-sixth. Well, that makes five-sixths. And so two-thirds plus one-sixth equals five-sixths. So what are those important things to remember? Well, first, we want to find related fractions with common denominators. Our add-ins must have common denominators. Also, we will always want to estimate and check for reasonableness, make sure our answer makes sense. And then one last important thing to really remember is that we cannot add or subtract when we have fractions with unlike denominators. Now pause here and think about why. Yeah, absolutely. We can't add and subtract with fractions with unlike denominators because the pieces are not the same size. All right, so let's take a look at a second example. You guys are doing fantastic. All right, in this example, we have five eighths and we're adding three fourths to it. So again, we first wanna start with our model. So here I've modeled five eighths and we had three fourths, but I have already partitioned those fourths into eighths. And so I can see here that three fourths is equivalent to six eighths. So I can rewrite the same equation as five eighths plus six eighths. And again, before we find our actual value, we want to estimate to make sure when we do solve, our answer is reasonable. So five eighths is pretty close to. Yeah, absolutely, a half. And six eighths is closest to one whole. Now it's kind of right in between a half and a whole. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of round up, but when I keep that in mind, so first I know that my answer should be somewhere close to one and a half, but it should also kind of let me know that it's probably gonna be closer to a one and a half than two holes. But let's see if that ends up being true. All right, so I have 5 eighths plus 6 eighths. That makes 11 eighths. Now, this is an improper fraction, and so I would want to convert that 
into a mixed number because those are just kind of easier to understand and visualize than an improper fraction. So how many whole groups of eight, how many holes can I make with 11? Well, I can make one. And how many eighths do I have left over? I have three. Three eighths. Yes, three eighths, Ms. Irwin. So I have one and three eighths. So five eighths added to three fourths is one and three eighths. All right, fantastic. So pause here and just maybe think about and verbalize to yourself what is most important to remember when you are adding and adding fractions with unlike denominators. All right, wonderful. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some subtraction. So first here, I have one half minus one fourth. I want to take away one fourth from one half. And again, when I look at these models, here I have a half. I want to take away a fourth. But I notice, again, they're not the same size. So what do we do? Yes, we partition one half. Because the fourths are the smaller pieces, you can easily make the bigger pieces into smaller pieces by partitioning. So if I partition each half into two pieces, now I see that I have two fourths is equivalent to one half. And two fourths minus one fourth is what I can, I can take one fourth away from two fourths because those pieces are the same size. But again, before we do that, we would want to estimate. So two fourths, we know it is one half, and one fourth is, you know, it's halfway between zero and a half, but I would say maybe for this, we could say zero. So we could say our estimate is one half, but you could also estimate and say that you could do one half minus one half, which is zero. So if I think about that and I think about reasonableness, that kind of lets me know that my answer is going to be less than a half. So as I'm looking and checking, like in my previous example, I can see that one and three eighths is close to one and a half because four eighths equals one half. In this one, we want to make sure our actual answer is going to probably be less than one half. So let's see if that is the case. Well, two fourths take away one fourth, and I can cross that off in my model. Well, I see now that I only have one fourth left. And one fourth, well, that is less than a half. So it is absolutely a reasonable answer. So one half minus one fourth equals one fourth. All right, here's one more example. If you would like, pause the video, try it on your own, and then continue to check your work. All right, so here, the first thing we would wanna do is model. So we have three fourths and we have three eighths. Again, are those pieces the same size? No, they're not. So what do we have to do? Yes, we have to partition. Now we're going to partition to find an equivalent fraction to three fourths. So now that I've done that, I have eighths. So three fourths is equivalent to six eighths and six eighths minus three eighths is what we're going to solve. Um, but again, we want to estimate. So when you estimated, hopefully you found that six eighths, you could say is about one and three eighths is about a half. So our estimate was about one minus a half is a half. However, some of you might have said that you had a half and you wanted to take away a half, which would be zero. So I know, again, my answer is going to be less than a half. Okay, so let's take a look. Is that true? Well, six eighths take away three eighths. I take away one eighth, two eighths, and three eighths. Well, how much do I have left? Yep, we have three eighths left remaining. So six eighths take away three eighths is three eighths, um, which is less than a half because again, four eighths equals a half. Um, so that must mean that three fourths take away three eighths is three eighths. All right, fantastic job. 
So last thing before you finish, I would like you just kind of in the margin or off on the side, somewhere on your page, can you just in your own words, kind of quick write and summarize what you need to do in order to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators? All right, fantastic job, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to take all your notes and to summarize. If you haven't finished jotting your information down yet, you can do that after the video ends. And don't forget to complete the two practice problems and have a great day. If you have questions, please let me know and we'll see you in math. Bye.